So I just downloaded a new app called YouTube Capture, and uh, so I'm trying it out to take video and edit video together. Um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I've got a lot of clips from the last few months. Um, not as many as I hoped I would. Um, so uh, the first clip you'll see is from a basketball game that Beth and I went to. So we're at the Jazz game and just waiting for it to start. Just thought I'd film a quick video. Cody gave us the tickets for our uh, birthday, or wedding. It's like a birthday. Sorry. <laughs> kind of tired if you can not tell too. To get up early for church and then to get up early to get things done today. But uh, we're on the front row of the upper deck. So there's not a bad seat in the house. Pretty good. It's a good view. We donated plasma and then we went to Golden Corral right for lunch prices, just in time for dinner food, and now we're here at the game. So we're doing some shopping in Idaho Falls today and uh, Beth is getting some new athletic shoes. Cause so many ugly shoes. <laughs> we've had a, well she has a gym membership for a while but she doesn't like her shoes so. We haven't gone much. Um, excuses, excuses. <laughs> but yeah, so we're trying to find some shoes. That's her shoes. These are the shoes. These are the favorites so far. And all of the Champion brand are on sale at Target. So. And we have a gift card. Thank you, yeah. Karen. Gift cards <laughs> from our wedding, so it's nice. So I forgot to make a video earlier, there was a library book sale, and now we're going to the Second Chance Prom. <clears throat> it's a fundraiser that uh, the Relay for Life is doing. And we're eating at a local restaurant called Tommy Vaughn's. I had a burger, but now all that's left is fry. She had a uh, awesome pulled pork salad. and. Uh, yeah, there's the Tommy Vaughn sign. Thanks for that idea. So yeah, then we're gonna go to the dance and I'll probably film some there. So the quality on the video isn't too good when you're zoomed in, but we just finished hiving a swarm and if you can see, all these bees on the edge are sticking their butts in the air and flapping their wings. See if I can find a good one. Right there, see? And they're putting out pheromones saying we found a good home to call in the rest of the hive there so hopefully these few bees will get the signal there's only like three left in the box now we dumped most of them on top and the majority of them have gone down in the scouts are on top doing their little uh, calling thing so I just thought it was pretty cool and I hived it in these clothes I mean, they're a swarm. They don't need any. You don't need any protection. The swarming bees are the most docile because they don't have a home to protect. So that one. Is there. Over, hopefully. So I'm just leaving the box off until those at the top get done doing their thing. Or the top. I got the top right there, waiting to put it on. It's almost dark, so I wanted to get it on before it gets dark, so they can stay warm through the night and everything. And I think my mom, she was the one that put it into the box earlier because it was right here up in the tree and I had to go to a job interview so she put it into the box and sat the box on top but for some reason they were hanging out in the box, didn't want to go into the, they were hanging out in the cardboard box, didn't want to go into the bee box so when I got here I just shook them out into the bee box. And it seems to have been successful so far so let's go check it again tomorrow or in the next couple days and hopefully I can get some more boxes before they get too crowded in there. Hey, thanks for watching so far. I haven't uh, tried to bore you with um, too much talking in between the clips, but this next one needs some introduction. It's a really dark clip. Um, my dad has a business uh, which he actually started when Evan was raising money for uh, uh, Scout National Jamboree and he just has kept it going. 
and use the money for our summer vacations and stuff where he uh he bought a bunch of flags and um in before memorial day he goes around and sells kind of a subscription type thing to people and then um i think it's six holidays a year we go around and put flags in people's yards and they pay us like five bucks a day you know for it and yeah so the flags have long since paid for themselves and it's just pretty easy money for us but every once in a while people will have a sprinkler line in a weird spot and so when we're out on memorial day doing it um my brother hit a sprinkler line and so uh beth took a couple clips during the aftermath of that so that's what you're going to see next. Like I said, it's kind of dark, but we thought it was a fun story that uh, we should include. Like, we, I'm I surprised we haven't hit it the right there. Time. Yeah, I'm surprised we haven't hit it the, the times that we've done it. first sprinkler here. line in five years of doing this. Well, it has bound to happen to someone. Eventually, yeah. yeah. I thought I'd got you. <laughs> <laughs> Noise, and I was like, no, no. Uncle Princeton over here. He just lives down over here, this way. I don't know. But it's over the city line. Anyway, I'm yeah. going back to. Does he know how to repair? So. Yeah, he knows how to repair all this stuff. That's what I do. Clear lines. You should. Found the blister. Holy mackerel! Do you see that? That is like a water puddle. Watch out, Evan. I think now, we turned off the water from the spray brush. Yeah. Um, so they're putting in flags and then Ooh. something was hit underground. I think, I think we turned off the water to the spray brush. So that's cool. Are you videoing? Yeah. We're trying to drain it. <laughs> we're popping the earth pimple. We're, we're <laughs> pro popping the zit in the earth. <laughs> Mother Nature's got quite the back knee. <gasps> oh! Guess, <laughs> guess what? There's a big puddle hey, of Beth, water there's there. a puddle there. I was so focused on the grass. <laughs> <laughs> She was focused on being a good documenter. Yeah, man. Yeah, the pimple looks like it's popping, right? Well, daggone it. I just stepped in this huge puddle. You can't even see it. That's funny. I didn't realize what I was doing. I mean, it's not coming out. Yeah. Now we just have to find someone to fix it. don't feel that Yeah. I can't really see right now, so I'm gonna be done with the picking this junk for a minute. Wow. What is happening? Yeah, it's not running anymore. Okay, okay, good. So it looks good. So yeah. It's off, whatever you It has some really nice soft soil because they've got a good sprinkler system and it always goes in a little bit and then stops. So this time I was gonna prove I was like Macho Man Gym Guy and I was gonna get it through. So it went through soft and stopped like it always does and I started hitting it and I felt it give. And so I was like on cloud nine, like I did it! And then Cody went to put the flag on. He was like, what's that noise? And then I like stopped and I was like, no. No, and I went from like the highest to highs to the lowest to uh, lowest. You so. can see there. That's because you're probably hitting a sprinkler line yeah. each time. <laughs> you can see the ground. Well, oh, each of the yeah, the rebar times. was right, okay. but we you were short three flags. Three, three flags? Three flags. <laughs> 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 it's Cody's birthday and he's turning 29. Warm up. So there's two candles on the Happy birthday to Winner! We got it! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Do not oh, I was reaching for it. Oh, 
So the next clip you'll see is me wrestling with my brother Dallin. We both wrestled in high school, but now he's like 27 and I'm 30. So it's been a while, but um, he challenged anyone in the family to uh, stay on top for two minutes. He started in the bottom position and um, the, he, he managed to escape the first time, but we figured it would have been out a side of the ring, and so, well, you'll see what happens. Suplex, come on, suplex. He's already on his feet. <laughs> <laughs> He's so tall, you can't. <laughs> he doesn't, like, do anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> whistle, oh. whistle, hey! No, whistle, you were outside the circle. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't know how big the circle really is. Well, that probably would have been out of the circle. Yeah, it would have. I, I used to be able to do it. Go. Myself. No, you. <laughs> you got this, Brett. Did you stop the timer ah. during the... Yeah, no, we're on two minutes. Ah. I got it all right. <laughs> There's usually that much grunting and groaning? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> With Brent there is. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Brett and I do not. Oh! Brett. But we'll call that. Good job wearing him out first, Evan. <laughs> <laughs> like a team effort. Uh, but he got out of the ring that one time, so. Oh. Brett, did you want to give a victory <laughs> speech? Well, was that a what? Victory? Did you want to give a victory no, speech? No, I never had, had well, what do you like? Really? No. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was exciting. <laughs> So the next clip you see will be a band called Midas Whale, um, and those two plus uh, another one are all part of a uh, crew that does a rock opera. They wrote it, they produce it, and everything called uh, it's called Deep Love. And so Midas Whale sang a song from Deep Love, and it's pretty cool because in Deep Love. Um, the one who's the lead singer on um, on this song of Midas Whale doesn't even sing. He leads the orchestra. Their lead singer in Deep Love isn't in Midas Whale. So um, this was just kind of spur of the moment at the end of the concert. They were like, let's just play a Deep Love song. And, and so they just chose that one. And I thought it was really cool to hear the cool kind of acoustic version of it. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Oh, is the 
warning and stuff but we figured either way this hail's gonna damage our car so we might as well drive in it huh <laughs> um, you can see it's splatting it's like a slushy hail it doesn't stay together when it hits the window but the weather's pretty crazy super high winds and thunderstorms so because it's the perfect uh, combination for hail Yeah, Beth had the windows down, but I made her put them up to take a video, but I don't know why you have the windows down in a thunderstorm it anyway. It wasn't that bad in the house. It has gotten way worse. But the post office is going to close. I want it on mail. Yeah. We've got a package notification, so we got to get to the post office. <laughs> and we've been lazy all day watching movies at home, so watch Unbroken. Highly recommend it. Uh, it's a pretty cool true story. Well, based on a true story, of course. Anyway, so now we're out in the storm. I'll take a video if anything cool happens. I hope no one minds me making a video without a shirt on, but uh, um, I've been wanting to make a log of my insanity experience. I'm doing the insanity workout series. I. Sorry, I'll try not to move. I. Started a week and a half ago, week and two days, but the first two or three days were super painful. And then you come to your first cardio recovery day, which is just strength workout. It's, it's the reverse of a normal workout series. So normal workout, you do strength every day, you do cardio once or twice a week. Um, and your intervals are usually, you know, 20 seconds of hard work followed by 40 seconds of like a jog or something. Um, so how insanity works is he does two minutes of hard work and then you get 30 seconds to recover and you do cardio five days a week and there's one day of strength and then a day off on Sundays. I've hit every day except one. Last Friday I slept in and then I had a scout uh, camp out. I'm the assistant scout master now. I know I haven't kept you updated on anything but uh, yeah, so I had to go to that, and I got, the Scoutmaster called me, uh, like, an hour and ten minutes before it started, and the workouts in the first half are, like, 40 minutes long, so I didn't have time to get a workout in and finish getting ready for the camp out, so I missed one day so far, but, uh, oh, and I just finished, uh, my second time doing pure cardio. It's actually one of my favorites. Pure cardio, um, you do 15 exercises one minute each no rest so it's a little different than the normal format um but i really like it uh feeling a little nauseous um mainly i think because i chugged my water before the uh stretch even so i chugged a whole glass of water way too fast at the end um but yeah i felt nauseous the first two or three days in fact i'm gonna sit down sorry for the motion i hope you don't get sick but yeah, I felt nauseous the first couple days, but lately I've been doing good, uh, except yesterday and today. Yesterday, I did plasma, and then worked out two hours later, and all I ate in between was Wendy's ghost pepper fries, which are really good, by the way, but not much nutrition value, and I don't think I had fully rehydrated either before I worked out, so yesterday was weird I like I felt uh, really hard worked my heart rate went up I was real sweaty but I could not do any of the work for the workout I felt like it was one of my worst workouts but I mean I get I got my heart rate up so got some cardio but yeah I'm on day I think I just finished day nine maybe day eight I think it's nine anyway I'm feeling good and looking forward to finishing the uh Series. I don't know if I'm gonna actually make it through because we do have a family vacation in the middle of it, so I don't know if I'll be able to 
work my way back into it after that or if I'm gonna have to start over it depends on how I feel I guess and everything but we'll uh, cross that bridge when we come to it um, so yeah that's where I'm at <laughs>